Well, turning now to the race for the White House, both Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are preparing to face off in their first debate tomorrow. CBS's Carissa Lawson reports how the campaigns are preparing in the final hours. Vice President Kamala Harris took a break from debate prep for a Sunday stroll with second gentleman Doug Emhoff. Are you ready, Madam Vice President? Ready. On Saturday, the Vice President greeted shoppers at a spice store in Pittsburgh. We're going to be fine. We are all in this together. Yes, we are. Over the weekend, the Harris Walsh campaign also unveiled its policy webpage, outlining proposals on key issues such as the economy, crime, and immigration, just in time for Tuesday's high stakes debate against former President Donald Trump. Is is anybody going to be watching? While campaigning in Wisconsin Saturday, the former president hurled insults at Harris and President Joe Biden. We have the dumbest leaders in the history of our country and the history of the world. On social media, Trump also falsely claimed there was rampant cheating in the 2020 election and that there could be more in 2024, writing, quote, when I win, those people that cheated will be prosecuted, which will include long-term prison sentences. It prompted this rebuke from second gentleman Doug Emhoff on Sunday. It's unhinged. It's anti-American. And guess what? We are not afraid. The latest CBS News battleground poll shows razor-thin margins between the two candidates in Wisconsin, as well as Pennsylvania and Michigan. The candidates are set to spend time in those and other key battleground states after Tuesday's highly anticipated debate. Carissa Lawson, CBS News.